Hi everybody, some chief here. Today we're looking at inserting pictures into a LaTeX document. So straight on to the text works. Now the most important thing I've got here in the preamble is the package to do that. I've just highlighted it up here. Use package graphic X. So to get that in you do backslash use package curly braces type in graphic X close curly braces and that's one of the main packages there. I've got some other packages here which I use uh, on a lot of my documents which come in really useful and then my preamble here to set up my page with the counters and the headers and footers which you can see here and then here I've got begin document so that's an important part of the god here so we've got place pictures where your dot text file is located and latex will find it by file name and type i.e. by jpeg or png so today the file I've got is a JPEG so that's why I've got JPG in there so that's uh, what we type in there in the curly braces so let's just run that through for you backslash include graphics open square braces scale equals 0.45 close square braces and then in the curly braces some chief picture dot JPEG so that is basically my file name which is this one here, some chief picture. You, if you called it whatever you wanted, that's what you would need to type in there. Scale means I'm scaling it down to make it a little bit smaller. So one would be standard size of that picture. So 0.45, that means I've got it 45% size of the original picture. And that is this one here. So this one here is that one there. That's the input I've got for there. Then the next option you've got is you could do this way. You could do this line which is include graphics backslash include graphics same as the first one and again square curly, uh, square braces width equals 0.4 with a backslash text width now that will also be like a scaling and that will give you a way of uh, producing your picture um, I'm going to show you how that one is here that is this one and again curly braces some chief picture dot jpeg so I've got that in there and there it is and that's that one there so we're going to mess around with these and figures and um, show how the picture can change if you alter those figures then on the new page I've got a different way completely again which is backslash include graphics square braces it's this one here width equals 4.5 centimeters height equals 4 centimeters and angle equals 90 and then again the curly braces with the name of the file and JPG for JPEG so width and height, now these with here will allow you to um, change the aspect ratio. For example, if you wanted a tall picture and not too wide, if you're trying to fit it into some text, uh, that would be a great way of doing it. Um, you can just mess around with those figures to get it to fit. And the angle, that's like a rotation through 90 degrees. So that will rotate the picture. And the same here, I've gone the same again, but this time I've, you'll see I've got a rotation of 270. So that's a rotation through 270 degrees. So let's show you what happens with those. So there you go. So there's the first one, which is rotated through 90 degrees, and that's 90 degrees anti-clockwise. And this one here is 270. Now that's 270 degrees anti-clockwise yet again, or if you like, 90 degrees clockwise. So let's mess around with these uh, angle numbers. So let's put this one to 180. And this will just change the bottom picture. Let's run that. Press the green uh, arrow here, green box. There we go. This will change in a minute. And as you see, now it's gone upside down. Now, what you could do, you could type zero in there. Let's do it on the one above. We'll type zero and see what happens to the picture. See, now it's back to normal. So it's rotated through new de uh, zero degrees. Obviously, that means to do nothing with it. Right, so now I'm just going to put a bit of a space. So double backslash, that means to start a new line. In the middle, I'll have a start a new line as well. Now let's just run that and just check that's okay. See if it's happy with that. I didn't like that, so we can't do that on this occasion. So let's just put get rid of that one there. Now we'll run again, see what happens. Okay, so now we've created a little bit of a gap. Now let's have a little mess around with these aspect ratios. So let's try 8.5 centimeters on the top one instead of 
So we've added an extra four centimeters on the width. See what happens to this top picture. See now it looks like it's a bit of a wide, like a widescreen picture. Now we'll move to the bottom picture and have a mess around now. We'll put the angle to zero so we can see what's going on. This time we'll change the height. So we'll put the height to nine centimeters. Let's see what happens to it. And there you go. So now you've got a really tall picture, but not so wide. It makes these two pictures look completely different. So let's have a look at the first page where we've got the scaling of the uh, pictures. So let's uh, go up to the next first page, see what we can play around with there. OK, so scale equals 0.45. Let's change that to 0.15. So that should make it 15% of its original size. So watch this top picture, see what happens. See, now it's really tiny. Can't see what's going on there a lot unless you put the magnifier on it. But as you can see, that's scaled it right down. Now let's do the same with the second one, but let's make it a little bit bigger. So let's type 0.75 in there. So that should be three quarters the size. And as you can see, that one is increasing size by quite a lot. OK, so there we go. Let's have a look now. Let's have a play around with an angle on the bottom page. Let's put 20 degrees in for the last picture. So let's change that one to 20 degrees. So we're aiming at this picture here. 20 degrees. So will it rotate through 20 degrees? And there you go. That's rotate, rotated the picture through 20 degrees. Let's put this one here on the top now. Let's rotate that through 330 degrees. Let's see what happens to that one. Oh, 3300, that's no good. 330. Let's see what happens to the top picture. See, now... See, it looks like now these two pictures looks like quite a little arty looking picture there now. So there we go. So there's include graphics, inserting pictures into your LaTeX uh, document for PDF output. OK, thanks for watching. Leave any comments below. And as always, please remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.